Welcome and thanks for joining us. My guest today is Sherry Abair, the Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of Compass Rose Benefits Group. Sherry, what challenges are Compass Rose retirees facing? You know, Mike, um, retirees in general are facing um, the challenge of so much information being inundated, especially right now with all of the information on the healthcare, um, certainly open season that's coming to the federal space and um, the Medicare Advantage. I think that's one of the toughest things people are facing is just how to get through all that information um, and discern what makes sense for them and, and, um, and how they would wanna move forward. I think another challenge facing our retirees, and this is, this is across the board, is the ability to um, coordinate medical care. So when, when retirees move into Medicare A and B, they rely on Medicare to do their coordination of care. And that doesn't always go as easily as one might think. And so, you know, as we get older and, and our health declines, that's when we need the most help in coordinating the doctors and the labs and the blood work and all the different things that come at people when they're dealing with a medical condition. And there's really no quarterback there to help them discern what's what and ask questions and put things in in our language versus medical language. So if I would say that, the, that that would be one of the primary and the health side challenges facing all retirees. You know, Compass Road filled that gap a few years ago by creating a program called Aging Well. And we've created a team of people that do just that for our retirees. So when people are struggling with how to navigate this healthcare system that we're in, um, we created a program just for that. Um, so. I would say right now, the biggest challenge is getting to your, you know, your mailbox and finding all this information or your, whether that's your electric, your electronic mailbox, or your regular mailbox, it's on TV, it's everywhere, um, is really facing those decisions on what's right for them. So why did Compass Rose develop this plan? And what's your basic philosophy when you think of the retiree population? Um, so I would say, thinking about our Medicare Advantage plan, Medicare Advantage was a natural next step for Compass Rose in supporting our seniors. Our seniors um, and our retirees have spent their entire careers defending our country and our freedoms because they come from the intelligence community, Department of Defense, Department of State, and here recently, Department of Homeland Security. So we had this um, innate need to serve them because they have served us for all of their careers. And, um, like I said in the, in the last question, you know, we created this aging well program to support our seniors when they need it the most. The other thing that we've done is we've created a charity um, that we can help them in very different ways. So we raise money so that outside of the whole federal space, we're able to help seniors and others in, in purchasing items that will increase their quality of life. The next biggest step for us was how do we continue to enhance that? And We've been looking at Medicare Advantage for a couple of years now, and now seems like the right time to offer this program to our seniors um, because it's the, next, it's the next step. It's taking care of our people the way we were meant to take care of our people. Um, and that is being there every step of the way, being a healthcare partner, not just a claims payer. Um, so, so with that, if I could just talk a little bit about our Medicare Advantage plan and why we chose the benefits that we chose to be part of that. Um, not all Medicare Advantage plans are created equal. Meaning in the FEHB space, um, you have an added, I guess, benefit that all the FEHB Medicare Advantage plans are based on that the high option plan that they're coming out of. So Compass Rose high option plan, um, the Medicare Advantage plan that we're offering has to mirror that meaning it has to have the same benefits as your current plan or enhanced benefits. And so just, just in the beginning, all plans aren't created equal because all FEHB plans aren't created equal. And then you have the ability to add on options to the plan. So um, Compass Roads has a current overseas benefit. Um, when you're traveling overseas, you know, we cover you and then you, know, you get reimbursed no matter, what your benefit, no matter what your costs are overseas. So we had to mirror that in our Medicare Advantage plan. Um, we offer massage therapy. So you have to mirror that in your Medicare Advantage plan. So not all Medicare Advantage plans honestly have a, have a massage therapy. And I know I love 
massages. So, I mean, that's a big deal to me. Um, we also have a pretty robust um, pharmacy benefit. So um, again, that gets mirrored and actually enhanced in our Medicare Advantage plan. But I think one of the biggest things we're finally able to do is help our retirees pay for that Medicare Part B premium. And this year, we're going to be paying up to $1,200 a year towards that federal, um, towards that Medicare Part B premium, which is $100 a month, um, which we think goes a long way um, in helping the cost of healthcare. Um, this year, we're, we're so happy to report that our premium basically didn't go up. Um, they were like 40 cents and on our family plan, it actually went down some. So this subsidy is a true subsidy. We were also able to help on the cost side with um, a $40 a quarter, uh, $40 per quarter for over-the-counter types of items. And so um, we just think it's the next, it's the next step to supporting our seniors through the coordination of care like I talked about earlier um, and through all these enhancements to what they already have. Well, as you said, not all Medicare Advantage plans are alike. Uh, what's some other differences in your plan? Yeah, so, um, you know, we are gonna have a, um, a national provider network um, just like we do now for our, for our folks. There's gonna be a gym membership, which is the gold standard um, it's one of the largest gym memberships and a, and a robust wellness program. We also are offering um, this personal emergency response system. So those, those uh, pendants that people wear or those um, you know, bracelets. Right. Um, so if you were to get into trouble, you could push a button and somebody would know that you're in trouble and they could get to you quickly. Um, again, I already talked about our, our pharmacy structure, but our, our pharmacy benefit is, is extremely robust. And we also have a dental, vision, and hearing benefit. So as most federal employees know, the dental benefit under our FEHD plans are not that great. So under Medicare Advantage, you actually have a dental benefit, which is definitely worth people checking out. Um, and it may be that they could, they could maybe drop what they might be carrying as a supplemental dental and vision plan under a Medicare Advantage plan. So again, another potential cost savings for them. Yeah, there's one more thing that I think is a, is a, it's just a great add-on um, for us. And that is um, if someone is hospitalized, when they're discharged, um, we built in a system where um, meals can be delivered to your home and transportation to and from doctors for, for, a, for a short amount of time, like 12 transportation um, opportunities, as well as, as these meals being delivered. Because you know, when you get discharged from the hospital at your home, the last thing you want to really think about is, um, what am I going to eat? What's in my refrigerator? Do I have to get to the grocery store? And so we built that in as kind of a transition when you're being discharged to getting set right back at home and, and not to let nutrition um, be a barrier to, to, to getting well. Walton Francis, the editor of Consumer Checkbook, I talked with him about your plan. And he said that's one of the things that's so strong about it is the, the interest it takes in people, not only during the regular care, but afterward. And yeah. very considerate. But what, what considerations other than benefits such as cost, customer service, credibility of plan, et cetera, should the retirees make when they're choosing a Medicare Advantage plan? I tell you, I think it's it's not unlike any other thing when you're gonna you're gonna invest in something that's that important to your life and your quality of life is the credibility and the and what if you just talked about the going above and beyond that a that a company would do for you. And I wanna just give you an example. So Compass Rose has been around since 1948. We were created way back then to support intelligence officers around the field. And our mission was truly to take care of health care of, of the officers and their families so they could focus on their mission, right? We took, we wanted to be that partner that they didn't have to worry about how that claim was gonna get paid. If there was a problem with it, call us, let us fix it. Um, we've, we've stayed pretty true to that um, as we've grown. Now we're not the biggest out there for sure, um, and we don't ever intend to be um, because we really want to be able to have that relationship with our members. Um, one of the things that we're very, very proud of, and so is the president of our company, Randy Stoughton, is that when a member um, is struggling with something, they can reach out to myself or Randy, and we're going to take a vested interest in whatever that issue is. One example of that, um, which happens unfortunately too frequently than you, than you might want to think, is we had a member that had to take an air ambulance from one hospital to another hospital, all within Fairfax County. And they received um, a bill after 
Medicare paid their piece and, and we had done we had done our piece that we call balance bill. So the balance of that bill went to the member and they wrote us a letter. I mean, it was tens of thousands of dollars of this bill that, that this letter said they were responsible for. Um, and when they called us and told us this, this, this hardship, which would be a hardship for anybody, um, it went to it, it went to Randy's desk and Randy negotiated with that company. And actually in this case, the, the company settled for what comp we settled with the company. Compass Rose paid um, the piece of it that was necessary to, to be paid. So the member did not have to pay that balance bill. And so there we have example after example, how Compass Rose will step in and advocate for the member when it is necessary. Do we always get everything we want? Not always, but we're, we're able to go to bat for the member. And I'm not sure that there's a lot of other health plans that you can call the president of the company and have them go to bat for you um, as a member. And we're real proud of that. Um, so, you know, when you think about the, not just the health benefits, but what else you're getting when you choose a plan. Like I talked about earlier with our Aging Well program, you know, that's funded out of the Compass Rose Benefits Group. That's not funded at all through premium or health or anything like that. But we knew we had a gap when our Medicare folks, our retirees that have been with us for 60 plus years, weren't getting the support they needed. We needed to step in and help them. Even though it wasn't a financial gain for us because we were the secondary payer, it was the right thing to do. And so we created this program totally out of, out of Compass Rose Benefits Group and it's been hugely successful. We've, we've talked to hundreds of our retirees and helped them through everything from, like I said, coordination of care to finding a moving company because somebody needed to move or find a, a qualified contractor if somebody wanted to have a ramp put in their home. Um, and, we, and we do all that legwork for people. We vet those companies and, and we're just super proud of the impact we're able to have on the quality of life of our members. Another gap that we found, and this was way back in, um, not a gap, but something we wanted to do um, was to give back to our communities. So back in 2010, we, were, we created a charity fund and we raised money to give back to our community. We've given tens of thousands of dollars to not only the CIA Memorial Fund, but the Diplomatic um, Memorial Fund, um, Pets to Vets, although I'm not sure they're called that any longer. And last the charity event we did, we raised money just for our aging well program. And in that, um, we were able to help people, like I said, pay for things that, that were just outside their reach, but had a major impact on their quality of life. One example I can give you is our aging well team was talking to a member and she was saying how um, her husband was, was having a difficult time, you know, moving from his wheelchair to like his chair that he would sit in um, during the day to, to watch TV or be on his computer or what have you. Um, and she was struggling now with helping him. You know, this was an older couple. And um, she, told, she told us that, you know, Medicare could pay for the chair, the lift part of the chair, but not the chair itself. And it was just outside of their financial um, capacity to pay for that. And the Aging Well team came back, came back to us and we said, this is, this is a major quality of life issue. Of course, we're gonna help pay for that chair. And we coordinated that, it was delivered. And the gentleman was able to get up and out of this chair without his wife having to help him. And it really made an impact in his life. Um, that's the kind of company Compass Rose is, is we, we truly care about our people at a level that I think makes us very unique. And you will see that in our Medicare Advantage plan. First in the subsidy that we're able to offer the $1,200 a year, we think is a, is a huge benefit, um, but you still have access to our aging well team. You still have access to Compass Rose. Yes, you be yes, you are a Medicare Advantage member, but your base company, you're always a member of Compass Rose. We're still here to help when it's necessary. That was a lot to say, and I'm not even sure I completely <laughs> answered your question. As you can tell, I can get real excited about our um, our members, especially our seniors. Um, More to come. Yeah, in fact, I just talked. I love talking to our folks, and I just talked to a member. Um, who had um, used our Aging Well program. And Mike, he was from World War II and he was talking about his time in Normandy and what a humbling experience. He was so humble. And you know, it's because of these retirees that we honestly have our freedoms today. And that's who we support. And we take that very seriously. I'm your moderator, Mike Causey, on the discussion, Enhance Your Coverage with Compass Rose Medicare Advantage, sponsored by Compass Rose Benefits Group on Federal News Network.